Hello Internet! In Unity, sometimes you may want to change how your scene looks depending on where, where you are in that scene. Uh, and Unity now gives you a way to do that in the uh, HD render pipeline, uh, and that is using volumes. Uh, so these allow you to assign post-processing effects to a volume within your scene. Uh, Unity actually already comes with these. When you create a new scene in your render pipeline, you're going to get something that looks like this. Uh, I've added some walls just so we have sort of like some sort of visualization, but you end up with this like post-processing settings in a new scene. And this is going to have things like exposure, bloom, and, and tone mapping, uh, which each do different things. They're, they're post-processing effects. And you can add more or do any of those things, but there's this handy little variable up top called isGlobal, and you can just tick that off. Uh, that breaks everything because that's actually what's controlling rendering our scene and I just turned it off uh, because it's not anywhere. Uh, but what you can do is you can create more of these. And by using this is global uh, flag, if you turn that off, you can use a collider to define specific areas within your scene that have specific properties of how the, how, how the post-processing effects should uh, be applied. And they'll blend. Unity will automatically blend between them for you. Uh, and so that makes it really easy to do uh, some pretty interesting effects. So I have just this basic scene with a room, a corridor, and then a room on the other side. And what I want to do is I want to apply a vin vignette on the inside of this corridor, just so you get sort of that uh, congested, uh, claustrophobic feel inside of the corridor. And then we'll change the fog color in the other side. And so what we're going to need to do that is to volumes. Uh, so I'm going to create the first one here and we'll just create that at 0, 0, 0 with a height of 2. My walls are 4 high so that'll just center it in that corridor and then we just add a volume. Uh, now this volume doesn't have a profile. The profile defines what it actually is going to do and so in order to actually make this work we need to create a new volume. So we just hit new and that automatically creates it and you can see it's called game object profile 1. That is uh, I already had one created, but game object profile one is just created in your basic assets folder. Uh, you can rename this, do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to leave it for now uh, and we'll just stick with that name because meh. Uh, now that we have this though, we can do add override and this is going to give us a whole bunch of different options that we can use. Uh, so we can add fog, change the, the sky, uh, do all of these fun things. What I'm looking for is a vignette, uh, so I'm just going to search for that. And then we'll have a mode, uh, color, center, and intensity that I want to toggle on. And we'll just change the intensity to like 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Now to see what this actually looks like, I can just click my game and just toggle on the global. And that's not really, that's not really what I'm looking for. It's not intense. Uh, so that seems like it's getting a little bit more. You can see the black around the edges. Uh, and so that is sort of the effect we want. So we can toggle this is global off and you'll get this warning that says add a collider to this game object to set boundaries for the local volume. And so all we need to do is just get a box collider like this. And just to go into scene view so we can actually see this a little bit easier, uh, we'll do four wide, four high, and then 50, 20 across. I forget my own dimensions. And that will sort of define the, define the volume. And then what we can end up doing is just move our camera into it. Uh, so we want to move along the z-axis and we end up moving in and you can see it just sort of snaps on. That's not really what we want. Instead, let's try to change this a little bit so that there's a little bit more blending. So we can add a blend distance to this. Uh, so let's say add five. Uh, and we're actually five uh, units away. So we're actually going to see a little bit of that peak in a little already. Uh, and as we move further forward, you can see it start to fade in, and then as we get out the other side, it fades back out. And so this is like super, super simple demo-y stuff, but you can add as many of these as you want and it will fade between them. Uh, you can have global settings that will apply everywhere, uh, and then if you wanted to like affect the sky, or maybe you have like a forest and you really want the colors to pop, you can up the saturation or something in the forest. Uh, those are just some general ideas. But that's our first version. Uh, and so what we need to do is create another one. I should also add, there's an extra gizmo that gets added when you modify this blend distance. 
that's that outer grain thing. Uh, and that's sort of showing you where the blending will start. Uh, so we'll leave that there. And then create a new game object. I'm actually just going to copy this. But what I want to do is create another new volume. Uh, so I just clicked new again. And we have this box collider. Let's set this to 10 and 10 and move this to the position we want. So 15. And I'm going to actually keep this blending. I, again, it's, it's mostly an example. Uh, you can tweak this to whatever you need. But mostly what I'm trying to show here is that you can get pretty nice like visual effects without doing any coding, without really knowing what you're doing. Unity can kind of do all the heavy lifting for you. Uh, so let's just add some fog here. Uh, and so what we're going to do, uh, I actually, let's take off this linear fog because uh, there's no color here. Well, actually, hold on. There's a color, color mode. Haven't tried this one before. There we go. Uh, so color mode, we can turn on the color and we'll let's set it to say red. So this means we should have a red fog when we go into this place. Uh, we'll set the density and we can have the fog start and fog end. I think it should be fine though. So if I go make this global and go back to game, we don't, we don't see anything. Uh, so let's turn these on and set this to something a little bit closer. Or not. That should have worked. Um, <laughs> well, let's drop the fog, I guess, the linear fog, and let's add a, a, a exponential a fog. There we go. Volume fog. Done. Single scattering albedo, just the color that you're going to scatter with. You can see it already turned red. Uh, and we want that a little bit, a little bit different. So let's change this to have a, a base fog distance of say 100. And that's a little bit more red. <laughs> sort, sort of what, what I'm looking for, just sort of like a really ominous, like gloomy feeling. And so we have that, that seems to look all right. So let's change that is global back. And now as we go through this scene, we should see it fade into a vignette and then fade into the red fog at the end. Uh, and that is not going to do it because I'm not, I haven't selected the camera. Here we go. So we can move through, we get our vignette and then you can see the red start to fade in and our vignette is still there. Uh, so these are adding onto one another. You're getting multiple effects from multiple different sources combining with one another. Uh, and that's sort of powerful. And then as you continue forward, the vignette fades out and we get a much more pronounced fog. Uh, and that's, that's how that works. Uh, so you can kind of play with these in your own scene. It does require uh, the scriptable render pipelines. So if you don't have a project on those, you're probably not going to be able to use this, unfortunately. Uh, but if you are using some of the newer Unity features, like uh, the HD render pipeline, for example, this stuff is built in already. And you can just start playing with it like I just did. Uh, but that's it for this video. So if you start using this, let me know in the comments. I'd love to see what you make. Uh, but other than that, I will see you in the next video. So until then, see you, Internet.